So I had a couple questions the other day on how to set up these uh, ring alerts and how to set up motion zones. And there was another question about the lights on the camera. So we're going to go right in here and you're going to touch up on the right hand corner. You're going to get into your settings. As you can see, I have uh, motion alert alerts currently turned off. Um, record motion is turned on. So with this device being inside of the house, what happens is you're going to get a lot of motion alerts. Um, you can set up time frames and everything else. Like if you look right here, you can see all the emotion alerts that I just had today. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how we can prevent all that from going off. So you can't do your motion snooze or anything when the motion alerts are off. So if motion alerts are on and you want to turn it off for a few hours, you go back in there and that's where you take care of it. So we're going to go right in here to motion sensitivity, motion wizards, and this here is where you set those zones. So as you can see this is the main zone that's going to come standard on the camera um, when you click in the middle and this is being done on an ipad pro you can basically touch the little blue bars and you can move these little blue bars all around to get whatever zone you desire if i don't want the steps i can pull it down like this if i want the steps i move it back up if i don't want that doorway then i can pull that down and basically not have anything going on in that doorway triggering any type of motion um, it's pretty simple. It's super easy to use. I can also go up and I can add a motion zone. So if I only want a certain area, I can move this around and this will add me another motion zone and I can name this motion zone. So if I want the uh, hallway door over there leading into the playroom from the kitchen or just maybe the front door and the other door and not have any motion in the middle, then I can do that by creating these additional zones. They're super easy to do. You just click on that little plus right there in the right hand corner. It's going to save that motion zone. Now let's go in the motion schedules. This right here is where you can set to disable the emotion alerts during any time of day. So if you're going to be home or something like that on a normal basis, uh, one thing that's kind of bad is if something else changes that day, like if you set a Friday, I'm sorry, Saturday, Sunday schedule, and then you're ended up being there, you know, you're going to have to adjust that. But it really is super easy to set up. Um, the ring cameras are by far one of the easiest to set up. Um, you can go in, you can change absolutely anything that you need to. Um, and right here, uh, we're going to look uh, right here at this uh, ring camera, uh, the front doorbell. As you can see, I have the motion alerts on and everything else there. But here, the same thing, you can, you can go in and you can do this. So we're going to open back up the indoor cam um, and we're going to do a live view right here. Um, I showed you the quality the other day. If you want to see the whole review for that, that video will be linked in the description of this video um, as well as at the end of the video. So this will show me my signal strength and everything else. If we back back out of this, we can go back into any type of things we want. These are the alert settings. Um, so you can change your alert tones, how you want to be notified. I choose in-app notifications. Um, so there really is a lot that you can do um, inside this app. It's super easy to do. And it just makes things really, really easy. Um, there was also a question about if uh, you could see if the camera was recording. And you can. There will be a small blue light on the camera that comes on when it is recording. Um, and there will be a picture of it uh, right here so you'll be able to see it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Click subscribe if you're not already. Hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload. And I'll catch you on the next one.